Hello everyone, welcome back to Intervagungeon with me Flick, and as a result of successfully finishing the bullets past last time, we now have the much more difficult task of finishing it with the robot. So we're going to try our best, but it's not going to be as cut and dry whether or not we get to Dragon. And getting to the Lich is always up in the air based on the drops you're getting, but as the bullet you can probably get to the Dragon fairly consistently as long as you don't get too salty at, say, you know... <laughs> The tank, the new high priest, which is even worse than before. But as a robot, it is not kind dry because we don't have consistent health. Ah. I had a feeling there would be enemies somewhere, and those enemies would be alleged. Good. By the way, I might sound a little deeper baritone than usual. Recording a bit earlier than usual. Usually, I take the dog out first, you know, have breakfast, but it's a little bit icy this morning, so I'm not taking her out until a bit later. She doesn't approve of our paws being overly cold anyway. She's very finicky like that. Like if they get wet at all, she's she's pissed off for the whole day. But still, at least as a robot, we don't need to worry too much if I get hit once on a boss. All that's doing is denying us one bit of armor, which we may get when it dies anyway. But it also devalues just any HP up we find in general. Very funny. What we want is gun knight pieces. Oh, and a special room. Which we're about to find. I also worry that the first time I get to the robot's pass it's going to be a little bit convoluted the same as the bullets was and as a result not be like cut and dry you'll do it first try with the say oh, an 80% success rate which was my success rate for the base characters pasts. <clears throat> I had to wait, no. It was a 75% success rate. I'm pretty sure I only failed one past. very close to losing a couple more but they weren't so vastly different that it wasn't clear what you were to do. Also another, I, I don't mean to keep on harping on about why the bullets pass was bad but if you think about it, it breaks the it breaks the continuity because the reason you use the gun that can kill the past is because you want to right a wrong or, or do something different that you did badly in the past. The bullets was purely that he did everything right the first time, he just wanted to show off, I guess. Because he killed Ganon, he had to have, because otherwise he wouldn't have the sword that he has normally. He'd have the crappy brown one. So it broke their own formula by doing that. He didn't use the gun to, to change a damn thing. They were too focused on doing an authentic Zelda parody that they forgot the rules they had established. Which is a shame. And we'll buy that. We'll probably end up buying the armor as well because, again, every hit is going to cost us in this run. Take that, barrels. Take that, tables. Mm. Hello, Mimic. I was going to say, I could have sworn I saw you move. Also, you didn't have a lock on you. arena this size I don't have anything to fear. We got a key and we got blank not back up which is basically a, a nothing item. So our other chest is a gun and hopefully where's our other chest? Ah. Hopefully it's not brown quality as long as it's blue and a bow. If it is brown quality it could be the sling which I'd actually be totally totally fine with because that would see us two dragon. Oh that's more like it. Here's the fireplace. So the other item room should basically one room at most up here. Or that could actually be just it. Because the first floor ain't very long. Ah, there it is there. Oh, no it's not. This is the corner. Two Tommy Gun Ghosts, eh? Hey. Blue. Also, it's unlocked. It's another Mimic. What the hell's going on? Why did I get two Mimics on the first floor? I don't have any... 
Hey, 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 no! no. <sighs> so it's got infinite ammo. You can charge up a shot that uses up its bullet. That's going to be useless in most applications. Hmm. I guess I can try walking up to the boss and seeing what it does. Did it do a lot of damage? It did do a lot of damage, yeah. But it doesn't have a reflection mechanic like Blasphemy, I, I think. I don't know who I hit with. I hit you. Right, you're weakest. Sorry, Smiley. You're the weak one. Against certain enemies, that could be very, very good. I mean, it has infinite ammo, so... It's definitely an option. I really should stop backing myself into corners. It's hazardous for my health. Uh, against Gatling Go, that would have been a fantastic gun because you can always catch him around corners. And we'll take our flawless, thank you. Ugh, oh, trash cannon. Well, that'll be getting sold at the first opportunity. Oops. That armor may end up saving us. We didn't find the secret room, but we don't have any blanks left. What is this a reference to? Casey, I thought it was a Fallout reference because it had like a rocket attached to it or maybe like a Dead Rising, but no, I don't think so. Hmm. I like the way he wields it. Ah yes, the room of many bullet bills. A lot of money for it as well. Circle strafe the room. That's a new film by Tommy Wiseau. I don't recommend it. Like smacking one of these cubes point blank I guess. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh if I could reflect bullets with a charged up shot that would be very fun. Hell, maybe you can, but I don't want to risk it. We have a special room over here. We're leaving that key for now. Although we have four keys, so maybe I don't want the shop to have a key. Yeah, actually, yeah. I'd rather the shop didn't have a key. It had more variety. So this is they give up a gun for uh, full health. I don't think it'd even affect the bullets, so... I better double check, actually, because if it's the one where you give up a gun... Or, sorry, give up plus one HP for... A maximum damage up. I don't know how that would have worked with the bullet actually. Yeah, a bullet who laid down his arms. Um, yeah, I don't think it gives you damage. Because I'd get rid of the trash cannon if it did. Bouncy bullets, bouncy bullets. Now, if we get the new boss when I'm playing as a robot, that guarantees I'm going to take a lot of damage. So that's why I'm also worried about building up as much armor as possible on the first couple floors. Wait your turn, slime. Wait your time. Turn. Not wait your time. That would be an herb. Don't know why I'm in the habit of saying it the American way. It's herb. <laughs> it's got quite a little punch to it. Uh, I went back to my hands, yes. Oh, that was... Ooh, that was very close. I was going to say uh, against the... Uh, what do you call it? Coffin thing. Iron Maiden, Lead Maiden. It'd be good, but it does an explosion and the Maiden explodes when it dies as well, so probably not. So we found our boss super quick. 
But since we have only armor regardless, we don't need to rush. And I would rather try and find a better gun. That is not affecting you. I wasn't... Shit. Alright, there's our first bit of damage. And it's from a fully avoidable attack <coughs> as well, which is a bit annoying. Well, the rat can have that. So it's not a mimic, finally. I wonder if this can find secret rooms. I should probably check the description because it will tell me if it can. A standard baseball bat and modified hit bullets instead of balls. Oh no, it does hit bullets. Launches an enemy projectile back with a vengeance. Nothing can happen until you swing the bat. It's probably only the charged up part that knocks bullets back though, right? Charm bullets. So we bought this from the peddler recently. So now all our bullets will charm. That's pretty good. And that means our other chest is a gun. Oh. Is this another special room or is that just a misplaced lamp? Oh. I don't think the ration does anything for us because our HP is armor. The AWP is fine. I don't think we're going to get the 80 odd required unless we get a gold shell. We haven't seen our shop yet either. But we will. Okay, it does work. <laughs> a little bit risky though. I'm not sure if I was fully charged there either. Oh, regular shotgun, my baby. Where are we taking that? Thank you. Goodbye. I'll obviously be kicking myself if we now do actually get a gold shell casing from one of these rooms or the boss. Because AWP is better, but the regular shotgun is dependable. Wait, enemies get cursed as well? Oh no, that was charm kicking in. He turned purple, so I was like, oh, the cursed pots curse enemies too. <laughs> Maybe they turned into a jammed enemy if they got X amount of curse, but no. I left one, right? Oh, bugger. No, I didn't. Although, no, we already have curse, so it's fine. We got curse from picking up the bat because it's a, it's a blasphemous weapon. Is that, my, is that my phone? That is my phone. I'm going to ignore that. Oh, if you had faster reload for this, it'd be real interesting. Oh, mutation. Mutation is fine, I guess. What's our boss weapon, though? Still the robot's left hand, and maybe this if I get really ballsy with it? Let's see how we do against... Nope. Oh, there goes my flawless, but it was worth it just to smack the bitch. Thanks, mutation. Appreciate that. Great item. Wait, I lost health there even though I blanked? Screw you. Screw the ammo conda as well. Cheating piece of shit. The mutation is also overwriting the water from coolant leak, so he's not getting electrocuted. Get destroyed and don't darken my door again. Why are you not dead? Are you just not losing HP? There. God damn it. Cheating piece of shit. Luckily we got the damage back and we got a good boss weapon, so screw him forever. Goodbye, horrible floor. So the rectangular will be our boss weapon now, and our floor clear will be the shotgun. Yes. The bat for certain enemies. Gotta commit to memory that those new things explode. Good stuff, good stuff. Extra money is always appreciated and we have another special room, a gun muncher. We'll get rid of trash cannon and mutation because they're both bad.
Give me something consistent, please. Oh, consistently bad, maybe. Actually, no, it's not It's not consistently bad anymore. Well, we'll use this as a room clear then for now, because I trust this less than the shotgun. You couldn't have dropped a second slower. Hey, he was charmed and he kept on coming towards me. Shenanigans! Nice. Oh, I charmed the big mushroom. I don't think that matters, but... He is charmed. Does the robot just have, like, higher hidden coolness or something? Because he seems to be getting the bigger flames more than the last time I had the flame hand as I was, was the bullet, right? Ugh. I mean, I can do it, but I don't, I don't really want to. <laughs> if I use my spacebar item, does that deny the challenge? I better not use it just in case. By all means, poison yourselves. Cough it up. Hero pig. He was so young. Oh, so this is the one that stops you from dying one time, right? This It's called shifty pig the first time you get it. Oh, there it is, yeah. A hero pig, you should never have doubted this pig. He is a true hero. So yeah, the first time you die, he takes the shot for you. And then you get your base health back. So as a robot, I guess that's four armor. Or does he start with five? No, it's four, right? Stout bullets is a new item. We bought it from the peddler. I don't know what it does. I would guess it makes your damage go up at the cost of severe slower bullet speed. We might be able to afford it if there's enough floor left to explore. Bad dodge, bad dodge, Ugh, but we got away with it somehow. Oh, those help. All the more silver shells. No, I don't want any of your keggy bunching bullshit. Yeah, do double damage against your brethren. He does look like a shifty pig, to be fair. But who knew he was actually a hero? Hopefully we won't have to use him, obviously, and he's not going to come to the pass with us. Oh, but how awesome would it be if he did? Enemies lining up is making Flame Hand even more... Oh, right, you're still alive. More useful because it pierces. Yeah, we're getting so many key... The robot must have a base coolness higher than the other characters. I guess to make up for the fact he doesn't have any real HP. Okay. This is not a mimic. Orange guanstone? I don't remember what it does. All the guanstones are kind of muddled. Alright, that just hits enemies. Okay. A guanstone is fine because it blocks bullets. Regardless of what its actual effect is, it has a much more beneficial effect. In that it blocks bullets. Line up, please. How is the, the new item that has a chance of charming all my bullets working out? It's a nice little thing to have. I wouldn't say it's going to be a run winner, but it's it's a good... It's just a nice passive. You know, it's just it's fine. Hmm, it's probably the tank. Although the tank is usually bottom or left door rather than the right. We're still missing a chest somewhere. We almost have enough for stout bullets. I think it was 91, right? Or was it 81? Hmm. I will go back and check after this. Or after we find our other chest. And unlike Gungeon Pepper, 
the orange grindstone does actually have range to it. It's shooting at enemies so it can see. Gunship Pepper, you have to be practically point blank. If you had a temporary invincibility item, like say Potion of Lead Skin, the the baseball bat would be even more effective. So I can definitely see it being very, very good with certain things. Pardon me. Ooh, thank you. So shotgun to clear next floor, mega hand to clear the floor after that. Still don't have a definitive boss. Oh wait, no, we have the rectangular. I forgot. Sorry, I mean the tangler. You know what I mean. How much was your finest stout bullets? It was 91. Well, if we live through the boss, we can afford it. We have four blanks, so really there's no excuse, even if it is the tank. Which it is. You look silly as a rectangle. I want you to know that. Get out of here. So please stop destroying my pillars. I need those. <laughs> I don't think I was going to get hit by that, but I, I felt unsafe. We're running out of pillars, so circle strats is going to be our go-to. Oh, you son of a bitch. I thought he was dead. Screw spawning extra enemies. It's such a terrible mechanic. I hate the bosses of this game with a passion. And unfortunately, there's still no mods to fix them. They are badly done. Go away forever. And drop two armor to cover your bullshit. Alright, he dropped one to cover his bullshit. I suppose that's not as bad. And we're immune to fire. Big whoop. Uh, Rectangle's probably got enough ammo. I guess I'll take it for the flame hand. Let's see what Stout Bullets does. Up close and personal, that doesn't sound good. Increases damage at close range. Alright, well if I get up in someone's business, like say with a baseball bat, I guess that could be amazing. <sighs> we'll use flame hand then rather than the shotgun for now. There's a lot of ice enemies. Oh wow, that's definitely a bigger flame. There's a lot of ice enemies, so of course the fire does more damage to it. <laughs> Just kidding, elemental stuff means me nothing in this game. Nothing at all. So it's only bigger if I shot at something that... Yeah, if I... Sh hang on. It's, it's basically Proptosis from Isaac. That's what their inspiration was here. So Proptosis makes your standard tier size huge for much more damage, but it lowers in size very, very quickly the, f the further distance it travels. So yeah, Stout Bullets is Proptosis. That plus the item that splits your shots at a cost of damage would be a very, very powerful synergy. But of course you would have to get more than one passive a run for that to be possible to happen. Get wrecked. Um, yeah, I guess we'll keep this going. <coughs> By all means, come around the corner at me one at a time. I have no idea what exploded there. Earthworm Gym Gun. Well, it's also kind of up close and personal, isn't it? Oh, wait, no, no, it hits at any distance. All right. But it has massive knockback. 
It might do as a last ditch effort boss weapon, because if we fight something like Kill Pillars, I don't think Tangler's going to do it. We definitely are doing more damage, because that died very, very fast. No Cerbix. Oh, you probably don't want to be holding on to that giant flame for me. Gotta remember we have the Shifty Pig. All is not lost if we keep on getting the worst bosses in the game. Because of course it's going to be the High Priest on this floor, because why wouldn't it be? Ooh, heavy boots. Now there's an interesting concept. They're too expensive though, and there's no armor for sale. Uh, I don't have anything I want to get rid of. So we're not going to gun munch. Oh yeah, right. The robot always has an advantage on this floor because there's so much water. So our other item room and the boss have to be up here. Yeah, the bullets dissipate much quicker. We'll keep it going, it's doing fine. I miss using the shotgun, but I guess this is more effective because it pierces a little bit. Does it actually? Hmm, maybe it doesn't. I don't know why I was getting small flames like in a row there. There we go, that's better. Oh yeah, they fire before they finish spawning, that's right. I charmed the buffer, so he should be buffing me. I know he's dead now, but that's, that's still how it should work. I think the big fire is getting stuck on the walls sometimes, and that's what it's doing. Nice. Key doesn't make up for that. We have too many keys. We're still missing a chest. Based on orientation, it's the High Priest. So does that mean that's where this run ends? Probably. He's absolutely worse than before and I would love a mod that removes him from the game. I would love a mod, I've been saying this since I started playing the game, that reduced the boss's health in this game by 30%. Or a third I said, I believe, so 33. Because the boss fights are an awful, an awful decision that lasts too long and are very boring. Sadly, there is no mod support yet. Maybe eventually. Oh good, another key. Uh, we bought this from the peddler as well, I don't remember what it is. Helix Bullets Praise B, it's a Pokemon, uh, Twitch Plays Pokemon reference. Causes guns to fire an additional shot, bullets to move in a helical pattern and apply marginally less damage. I don't know why this is instantly moving, I'm not moving the mouse wheel at all. Alright, I don't know how practical that's going to be. If it is the High Priest, is the Heck Blaster better? I, I don't know. Maybe it is. Ah, f piss off. And you do your bullshit attack that you can no longer cheese. No. No. This is doing bugger all. And 
again. Uh, maybe the rectangle will do more. Actually, when he reappears, I could do that, but I'm not sure where he's going to reappear. No more blanks. It doesn't even appear where his final shot was. Alright, I must admit the shots from the Rectangler with this gun are cool. Oh, I jumped the wrong way. He's only half dead. Oh, for God's sake. Just the worst. Too long. Just too long. Also, during this attack, the bullets shouldn't come in off the map. Yep, wonderful. Also, that shouldn't be possible. Why on earth would you make your game less fun to play? I don't understand it. What a stupid decision. I also don't remember if the pig means I have to do the whole fight again or if we get up where we sit when it happens. It may also just not work for the robot because you don't have red HP. Well, we're not going to find out in this particular fight, but he's basically ensured that I can't win. I should probably just stop any run where I get the High Priest. Because there's no point carrying on. Still, maybe they'll come to their senses and realise they've made a horrible, horrible decision and fixed their terrible game. I don't mean to be so negative, but it annoys me that they've ruined something I like. Now we're going to find out. It is starting HP. No, wait, no, that's more than starting HP. You don't start with six, do you? I thought it was five. Are you just not taking damage from this because it's fire? Is that what's happening here? Because you're not dying as fast as you should be. You're not a boss, so therefore you don't take 20 years. Also, I just got a text message, so I'm going to need to look at that in a second. Bear with me. Okay. Sorry, just had to reply to that. Not like this run is going anywhere. Oh, piss off. I used to like you so much, Gungeon. Why are you making me hate you? Fire, oh, it fired down there because he got charmed. What could save this if we get a lot of money and the forge is filled with armor? Cheap armor, which it won't be because it's the forge. If I was playing as anyone other than the bullet, this might have ended up being a reasonably good run because we had a lot of armor and a lot of passives. But it doesn't excuse just how unfun the game is now. Yep, I'll just wait over here until the enemies come to me, I guess, because I'm not going out into that. Perfect. Get wrecked. Anytime you want to come over here, enemies. Do, 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 do. 
I thought for a second there he was going to come over here, but he's not. I wouldn't mind charming that guy. Oh, he's all the way up here. The thwomp destroyed some of his his bullets. I'm sure he'll die eventually, don't worry. Why are you still firing at me if you're charmed? Why is that thwomp still sliding if he's closed his eyes? That was all bullets he took from my guanstone there. Oh, the game remembered that sometimes it can drop armor. That's nice. I was worried the setting was still stuck on key. Gotta remember the forge. If this is happening, we need the bullet that can kill the past. It's going to take us to an item room, but I'm not sure about anything else. Ah, mate, it's a big room. Nope. <laughs> I think our Guanzuna is actually being affected by our passive as well, because the shots are curving. It's not creating another one, but it is curving them. I don't know why it didn't hit me, although then it did actually go on to hit me, so who cares, I guess. Why did I get so many mimics this run? I, maybe the... Oh, right, we're out of ammo. Nice. Just piss off. Alexander, that does nothing for the robot. Fantastic. That would have been a run saver right there if I was playing as a good character. I just want this run to end. No armor for sale, of course. Can't afford the commando. Might be able to by the time we find Dragon. Did I clear enough rooms to buy it? I need 104. Yeah, I'll try. I don't think we're going to be beat Dragon anyway, so who cares? Oh, there's a special room. I'd love if my shots actually hit enemies. That'd be fun. What's that? 
Reload stone, full metal jacket, gold amulet. In other words, nothing! I don't know if those new items are good or not, for the record. But we can't afford them anyway. God damn blue fires. Why are my shots getting stuck on like walls that I'm not facing and then disappearing? I think the Helix Twitch Plays Pokemon item is a bit garbage if it makes my shots get absorbed by walls that I'm not looking at. Is that enough now? I can't remember. We might as well push on to the other chests, I guess. I must have a lot of curse, that, that would explain all the mimics. But I only picked up one curse thing and it was the bat. Be worth it. Nope. Alright, well, we can at least buy the commando. That might be a swinger. Had enough by one. My ro the rockets are disappearing before they reach him because of the the proptosis thing. Oh, and I'm out of blanks. This is how we die. He's so close to second form as well. The bloody rectangler's out as well. Fuck off. Terrible run with a game that's been made much worse. I hope you somehow found enjoyment. I don't know if I'll be playing this again. Thanks for watching. Ta-ta for now.